Honey, just help me clear away this stuff. And no nibbling, dear. This spaghetti and this bread is for tomorrow night's dinner. Oof. Can we just pretend it's tomorrow and pig out now? <laughs> Honey, in this house, we eat and we dine. We do not pig out. Got that, Porky? <laughs> no. have you seen my lip gloss? <laughs> hey, Nell, did you know that Amityville Horror lived upstairs? <laughs> Samantha. Those are not your baby teeth. If you lose them, you don't get any more. Your lip gloss is on top of the dresser, sweetheart. Thanks. I've got a date coming over, and I wouldn't want him to kiss unglossed lips. <laughs> now, do you think there could be something wrong with me? No. What's the matter? Well, because Katie and Julie are crazy about boys, and boys just don't do anything to me at all. <laughs> You know, come to think of it, they ain't done much to me lately either. Anybody seen my car keys? I'm late for my bowling league. Yep, they're in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator? Uh-huh. Right where the chocolate cake was. What gave me away? The footprints in the jello? Eh, uh, spaghetti, eh? Huh? Don't eat that cheese. You don't know where it's been. Where's it been? In the grocery store. Now, can I see you a minute, please? Sure, honey. What is it? Was that Dad leaving? Yeah. Ooh. Hey, Julie. I've got to admit, you look great. You're dressed for a king. Who's coming, Kong? <laughs> Steve Sandler is coming over. Oh, I guess I don't have to ask what a Steve Sandler is, huh? Your glass is all steamed up. <laughs> He's the quarterback on their football team. A first-string mm -hmm. yatso. <laughs> gorgeous. He plays like he lost his helmet, and his head is still in it. <laughs> Paul Newman would kill for his eyes. Then how come he can't find a secondary receiver? <laughs> I hope he can find the house, because he's coming over tonight. I'm going to give him a little help with his algebra. <laughs> Just as long as he doesn't help you with your sex education. <laughs> See, if he flunks algebra, he can't play football. And on last Friday's test, out of 100 points, he got the date right. <laughs> He's really dumb. I even heard that they have to hike the ball at two because he can't count any higher. <laughs> That's him. Well, move. <laughs> How do I look? You look terrific, honey. Hey, honey, just remember, he's the guy that drops passes. <laughs> Hi, Steve. I'm so glad you could mate me. <laughs> Meet me. <laughs> How you doing, Judy? Julie. Julie Kaniski. Is your dad really the chief of police? Yeah, but you don't have to worry about him tonight. He's out tracking down a one-fingered pickpocket. One-fingered? What does he steal? Donuts. <laughs> Is there money in that? <laughs> Now, 
I'd like you to meet Steve. And and this is my baby sister, Samantha, who is up way past her bedtime. Hi, Samantha. Hi. Hi, Nell. Hi. Wow. Three beautiful women in one house? What's a guy to do? Move in. <laughs> Listen, Steve, about those interceptions last Samantha, game... Samantha, darling, please, let's go finish that spaghetti, darling. Well, I figure if you just drop a little bit back further in the pocket, you wouldn't wind up on your butt all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say goodnight, Samantha. Good night. <laughs> Shall we sit down? Sure. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I must have strained my ankle during last week's 10K run. Here, why don't you just hang on to me? Thank you. <laughs> Can I get you something? Uh, coffee? Coke? Ice cream? No, no thanks. Are you into yogurt? No. I get dizzy when I stand on my head. <laughs> Wow. Julie, what did you do to your hair? What's wrong with my hair? Oh, nothing. Just every time you turn your head, your hair catches the light and it just sparkles. Yeah. Sometimes I just lie awake in bed and use it as a nightlight. <laughs> hey, Julie, I got this one big problem with the algebra. What's that? You sit too far away, and it's hard for me to copy off your paper. <laughs> Look at all the fun we're having already. Uh, shall we start with word problems? I've got one. Um, you've got this car. Van. Van. And it gets, oh, 18 miles to the gallon. And you've got one gallon of gas. 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 Hey, you got gas? <laughs> Laryngitis. Oh. It, it must be from, from cheering you on at last week's game. Hey, I can hardly even hear you. <laughs> I still can't hear you. Now, where were we? <laughs> Samantha, what are you doing? Shh. You can hear better if you put a glass to the door. Do you know if somebody opens that door, you'll be hearing through your nose and drinking through your ear? Stop it. Boy, these word problems are brutal. OK, now, my van gets what? 18 miles to the gallon. And all I've got's one gallon? Right. Now, say you want to take this cute girl, me, for instance, to, oh, this great little pizza place that I know. Oh, thanks, Julie, but I can't eat that junk. See, I got to take care of my body. This is where I live. It's my home. If you ever need a house sitter, just let me know. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you had company, Julie. We're studying. <laughs> okay, sorry. Hi, I'm Steve Sandler. I'm Katie, Julie's sister. <laughs> and I'm a mess. No, you're not. Yes, she is. <laughs> Come on, Steve. It's nice meeting you, Steve. I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm starved. Hey, me too. Listen, Katie, how'd you like to get a pizza? Pizza makes her face break out. <laughs> I thought you had to study. Oh, nah, I got that algebra stuff down cold. Thanks to Julie. <laughs> so what do you say? Sure, pizza sounds great. Let's go. Uh, Katie, are you sure you want to go? I mean, I thought you had to stay home and sew some more padding into your bra. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joel. Oh, is that your blue van outside? Yeah. Want to drive? I'd love to. Great. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Me too. Okay, well. Julie? Julie, are you all right? 
We heard the whole thing from the kitchen. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Look, things don't always work out the way we plan. Okay. I'm okay now, really. I'm on to new things. Yeah, like what? Movies. Did you ever see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No. You will when Katie gets home. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that was really funny, Katie. <laughs> you got a terrific sense of humor. I had a really nice time. Me too. Great pizza. <laughs> I still can't believe how much we ate. Yeah, you ate half the pizza. I'll bet I ate, ate more. <laughs> hey, I had a good time. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Eight o'clock. <laughs> Good night, Steve. <sighs> night, Katie. Julie, you're up late. I was making a voodoo doll. Can I borrow a strand of your hair? <laughs> What's the matter? You stole my date. Stole your date? What? Julie, he's just the guy you were studying with. Katie, look at my hair, my makeup, my clothes. Does it look like I was just studying? No. You look like the bride at a gypsy wedding. <laughs> Back off my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Listen, Julie, you don't own Steve. Look, the guy comes over here and he meets two girls. He likes me instead of you. What do you want to do, arrest me? Yes, for jock snatching. <laughs> You're a loon ball, you know that? And you kissed him. For a girl that doesn't like tongue sandwiches, that was some kiss. <laughs> okay, I kissed him. Big deal, I kiss a lot of guys. I know. Your name's on the wall in the boys' room. It says, for a fair time, call Katie. Oh, come on, Julie. Look, Steve thinks you're a nice kid, but obviously he prefers somebody a little bit more sophisticated. Sophisticated. You've got pepperoni stuck in your teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, what about your lip gloss? You look like you ate a pork chop without using your hands. <laughs> oh, yeah? Julie, I'm warning you, don't do that. Oh, you're right. I'm allergic to rubber. <laughs> This is crazy. I'm not fighting with you. What, are you afraid? Look! Uh, you're gonna be sorry you did that, Julie. Yeah? Come on, I'm waiting. Stop it! Stay out of this, Samantha. Be a nice, quiet girl, and I'll let you have Katie's teeth for a bracelet. Oh, my God! The kitchen's on fire! It's not over. Where are my glasses? 
Jones. Sweetheart, that's my dinner. You're gonna be eating it off Katie. <laughs> you put that down, or I'll spank your butt, girl. Now you're not taking the spaghetti alive! <laughs> Now, nothing like good old American stew to stick to your ribs. That's because we didn't have any more spaghetti to stick to your face. <laughs> Sweetheart, you didn't touch your dinner. I'm not hungry. In fact, I think I'm going to barf. Sit down, Katie. Will you eat your stew? Thanks, Dad, but I don't want to eat too much. I've got a date with Steve tonight. We'll probably get something later. We all know he will. <laughs> That's it, nerd ball. Keep talking that way. All right, now, way. come on. Now, Katie, stop it. I don't want any more fighting in this house. Oh, come on, Dad. Let him duke it out. <laughs> now that I think about it, it was a great fight. Put a sock in it, Samantha. I'm going to get you a check on Julie. Now, we'll bring back a cough for this one's mouth. <laughs> what are you doing, Julie? What are you doing with that necklace? Are you insane? No, Nell, I'm perfectly sane. Those Katie's. <laughs> uh, you got to stop this. No, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna get even. I'm gonna beat Katie at her own game. You don't want to do that. Yes, I do. All I need to do is get myself a bottle of bleach for my hair, a few tubes of really garish makeup, then I've just got to do one thing, and I'll be exactly like Katie. And what's that? Donate half my brain to science. <laughs> I heard that, you geek. Now, Katie, stop it. I'm getting tired of all this squabbling. Boys sure are a lot of trouble. I think I'll marry a hamster. Why did you have to take that boy away from your sister? Dad, I didn't. Steve asked me out. He doesn't even know Julie's name. Katie, I don't want you going out with that boy. Dad, I'm going. If I do what you want, if I tell Steve I'm not going to go out with him, he's not going to like Julie one bit more. I can beat her, Nell. I know I can. But, honey, you're fighting with the wrong weapons. You don't play Katie's game in her court. You fight with your own best strengths. Great. When Steve comes over, I'll just unbutton my blouse and flash him my 160 IQ. <laughs> honey, don't put yourself down. You're intelligent, and that's terrific. You're interesting. Do you know that when people get to know you and they talk to you, they really begin to care about you? It's no good now. I don't want to be smart. I'd give up all the brains I have, all the sophistication in the world, if I could just have one big, stupid, handsome jock fall in love with me. Just once in my life. Oh, come on. You'll be OK. Come on. Just a second, Steve. Hi. Hi. You ready? 
Just let me get my purse. Hey, I love that sweater. <laughs> really brings out the beautiful brown in your eyes. <laughs> You're just saying that because my eyes are beautiful and blue. <laughs> so can I drive again tonight? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, I've had my eye on you for a long time, Katie. You mean you already knew who I was from school? Sure, who doesn't? Steve, when you came over here to study with Julie, you didn't know I lived here, did you? Sure I did. Everybody knows there's two Kaniski sisters, a smart one and a gorgeous one. Guess which one you are. Uh, are you telling me you set this all up? Well, sure I did. I figured that studying with Judy would be a good... Julie. Yeah. I figured that studying with Julie would be a good way to meet you. Hey, come on. Let's go fog up some windows at the drive-in. So you had this all planned? Well, yeah. I'm just not another athletic supporter. <laughs> you used my sister and you didn't care if you hurt her feelings. You really hurt her bad, Steve. Hey, come on, Katie. She'll get over it. Maybe. But I won't. I don't want to go out with you. Not tonight or any night. Katie, relax. Don't get so uptight. Why'd you go throw my keys in the driveway? So you can kiss the asphalt. <laughs> Katie, thank you. Thanks for what? For telling Steve off. Listen, Julie, I didn't get rid of him for you. Guys like Steve are the pits. They don't care who they hurt. It was just a matter of time before he did something rotten to me. Then how come I feel better? That's easy. I dumped a guy who dumped on you. It's natural. Yeah, you were great. <laughs> Listen, Julie, we've got to have an understanding. We're going to meet guys that we might both like. Some of them are going to like you, and some of them are going to like me. And I can't just dump all the guys who like me. I mean, nobody owns boys. They go out with who they want to. That makes sense. I don't like it, but it makes sense. Listen, um, I'm sorry for some of those things I said to you last night. I mean, no guy is worth us being that mean to each other. And no boy is worth throwing a pot of spaghetti all over Dad. <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> what a fight. You guys really got off some good ones. <laughs> Katie's name being all over the boys' bathroom. <laughs> but the best one was the one about Julie eating pork chops without using her hands. <laughs> Okay, stop it, Sam. But it was great. We haven't had that much excitement since Nell trapped the rat in the microwave. <laughs> Let's rip her clothes off and throw her in the street naked! No! 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 Dad! Murder! Think we ought to do anything? About what? About that. I didn't hear nothing. 